After nine years of UN administration, nine years of uncertainty and fruitless negotiations, Kosovo is finally poised to go its own way with a unilateral declaration of independence. But in the international arena at least, the debate is not over with heated discussion on the possible ramifications of the breakaway. The EU itself is divided. On the one side, the bloc's big four, Britain, France, Germany and Italy, are positive about the future, while on the other side, countries like Spain and Greece fear a ripple effect in their own states. Russian President Vladimir Putin shares the latter group's concerns. They have similar situations on their own soil and question the legality of an independence born out of a NATO military operation launched without UN backing. Russia is categorically opposed to a unilateral independence of Kosovo, Putin said. This would cause serious damage to international law and bring negative consequences for the Balkans and the rest of the world. The immediate effect, it's claimed, could be felt in the Serbska Republic, in Bosnia, where leaders have talked of secession or becoming part of Serbia. And further afield, there are worries that Kosovo sets a precedent for independence movements in Georgia's Abkhazia region, Transnistria in Moldova and Transylvania in Romania. Putin is concerned about Chechnya, which has already seen years of conflict between separatists and Russian forces. And there are also questions about the impact on the Albanian diaspora, who see events in Kosovo as a partial putting to rights of previous injustices. Albanians make up a quarter of the population in the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. There are also big communities in Montenegro and southern Serbia. Among these communities are some who regard Kosovo as the first step in the creation of a greater Albania. As for the Serbs of Kosovo, their worst fears have been realized. Some analysts predict their solution will be to push for their own independence or reunification with Serbia.